ちは皆さんお元気ですか Hello, how are you? Today I'd like to talk about three animes that is very nostalgic for me and that, makes, that brings me very very good memories. So this is my experience. Well, the first we are going to learn some useful words. Natsukashi. Well, here, Natsukashi anime. Natsukashi, this is e adjective. Natsukashi, it means nostalgic or some, something that brings, brings us very, very good memories, so very sweet memories. This is Natsukashi adjective. So after adjective, we put the noun. For example, here, Natsukashi anime. The anime that is so nostalgic for nostalgic animes. Or, for example, Natsukashi hanashi, Natsukashi hito. Very nostalgic stories, nostalgic person, like that, Natsukashi. This word, omoide, it means memories. So, for example, Natsukashi omoide, very nostalgic memories, like this. But omoide, we can write in three ways. But the pronunciation is the same, omoide. Omoide, omoide, and the other one with hiragana, like this. Omoide. Well, here it is written omohide, but we pronounce omoide. Well, I'm going to explain it. Uh, the correct one is the first one, omoide. Well, in newspapers and or, or in the television, so in the, in, in the media, an official word is with this one, omoide. And this kanji is from omoimas to think. Here, this part, ta and kokoro, heart. So this means, but here, the upper part, it means the head, the head, or also uh, um, brains, brains, and here, heart. So it means we think with our brains and heart. This is this kanji, omoimasu, to think, the normal way, to think. So omoide, anyways, this is memories. But if we write with this kanji, we can write this kanji, but this one, uh, uh, it's, well, this one, when we use this one, it's like uh, literature. Or I think this is like very romantic way, because this is, this part is tree, ki, tree. And here, me, eyes. And here, heart. So it is like, I'm watching, I, I, I see the tree, I see with my eyes the tree, and what makes me think <laughs> like this. So this is more poetic. We, omoide, with this kanji, is more poetic. But uh, this one, omoide, is something that has happened in the past, and I remember. So <laughs> this is the first kanji. Omoide. And why this one, omoide, we use this one? Because in the newspaper, like, and everything is written with this, because in the second kanji, it's not included in joyo kanji. Joyo kanji is the kanji that the government established that, oh, usually we learn this kanji. Well, this kanji is included but not included in the pronunciation of kunyomi. It means we use this kanji like to say so, so. This is onyomi, so. But here we pronounce in kunyomi omo, omoimas, omoide. But it's, it's supposed to be difficult. So it's supposed not include that one. So this is the reason why we use this one, omoide. And this omoide with hiragana, or even we can use with this kanji omo, but here, hi, 
but we don't pronounce omohide. This one was the very old style before the, the, the second world war. And in those days, we used to use he and we pronounced i, omoide. So when we use like this, it is all in hiragana and with he, this sounds much more nostalgic even. So we can write in the three ways, but we pronounce omoide, all the same memories. This verb, omoidashimasu, well, Omoimas, omoimas, it means to think, to think. Omoi dashimas, well, dashimas, it means to take something out, or to pull something out. Dashimas. So, omoi dashimas, from your head, so your memories, you, you pull them out. So, omoi dashimas, it means to remember, to recall. And we use like this. Oh, it means, oh, I just remembered. Now I just remembered. The first anime that I'm going to talk about, because this, these animes bring me back very, very, very sweet memories. One of them is Tetsuan Atom. Tetsuan Atom. Tetsu, this means iron. One, we can also say ude, this means arm. So, very strong one. Atomu, this is the main character, Atomu, Atomu-chan. Well, Atomu is like the, the, the atom. And this anime is quite old, so maybe you don't know it. In English, you say Astro Boy or Mighty Atom. Well, manga was published from 1952. That was even before I was born. 1952, I was still, I, 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 did, I wasn't born yet. Well, but anime, the anime in the television was from 1963. 1963, and I was quite young. Well, but I watched this anime every week with my sister and my parents. Still, my father lived in that time. He, he, he passed away very, very, very young, but still he was alive, and we watched this anime in the family. So we, uh, we, we love this this. Uh, this anime and also at school everybody as everybody was watching this anime so in the next day we were talking about oh did you see the anime yesterday did you see atom chang like that we were talking very much about atom and when we went to some excursion by bus we were singing the theme song with every student so this anime was very, very popular, and very, everybody loved that anime. And in this one, Atom, this is a robot. Actually, this is a robot, but he looked like a human, and he had a feeling, so with emotions. And his, for example, his sister's name was Uran-chan, Uran-chan. Uran, this uranium, uranium, and his brother was cobalt, cobalt. So these are all chemical elements. And this anime was about the future in that time. But the future was 21st century, so just right now. But it's quite different from now. Well, in Tetsuwa Atomu, this is the world that the, the robot and the human were living together in harmony. And, and this atom had to fight a lot of times because 
he, usually he fought with other robots, but these robots were these robots hated people, so he he fought with them, or also uh, some alien invaders from the space. Then he also fought because he was a very very powerful robot, but with a very very good heart, and he went to school just like another boys, other boys. So it. And he was very cute. I don't know if you if you know this Astro Boy, but it, this was very very popular. The second anime that I that that reminds me my past. This is Omoide Poro Poro, Omoide Poro Poro. You know Omoide. This is memories, and Poro Poro, and this is. It, poro poro, it is onomatope, and it is like poro poro. Something fall down in 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 drops. For example, these tears, the tears fall down in just like in the raindrops. Hmm? So poro poro, it's something fall down in the drops. Boom, fall down in the drops. So this is omoide poro poro. Memories fall down like in raindrops. Hmm. Hmm. And that is exactly why I like this movie, this anime. Well,、uh, this anime is from Ghibli. Actually, I love all the animes from Ghibli. This one, Omoide Poro Poro. This anime is from nineteen ninety one, nineteen ninety one, but the scenery, this happens in nineteen eighty two, nineteen eighty two, and in nineteen eighty two, this main character was twenty seven years old, but I was at that time twenty six years old, so it's quite similar. Her feelings and my feelings at that time, but even more, she recalls her past in many times in this this film. She, both are she. She now, twenty seven years old, and the other, the the same she, but when she was in the fifth grade of elementary school. Well. And so it was 1966. 1966. Well, this girl was in the fifth grade of the elementary school, and that means I was in the fourth grade, fourth grade in the elementary school. So the things happened to her in that time. It just as the same as mine. It's like it's like my past because I. I saw Japan like that way when I was、uh, about nine years old, or eight or nine years old, like that.、Uh, the same things. So, so when I watched this anime, every memories come back to me because it's the same. And even when they were watching the TV in the 1966, oh. Those anime, I watched that. So when、uh, there was that theme song of the anime of Kyokkori Hyotanjima, and I said, "Oh, I know this anime. I watched it." And the other thing, "Oh, I know it. I remember now." Like that. So it's so interesting for me because it it was just like. How I remembered Japan in 1966, so it's so so special anime for me. I don't know if you see if you watch this anime, how you think it because you you maybe you are not Japanese, you are not the same age as mine, and I don't know how you feel. So it's curious to know. It's really really I'd like to know. 
How you think if you watch this anime? The English title of this Omoide Poro Poro is Only Yesterday. And now, the next movie, anime, Mimi o Sumaseba, an English title is、uh, The Whispering, The Whisper of the Heart. The Whisper of the Heart. Well, Mimi o Sumaseba, Mimi, it means the ear. Sumas, Sumashimas. Sumashimas, Mimi o Sumashimas. It means to listen, listen to something very carefully with attention. Mimi o, Mimi o Sumashimas. Mimi o Sumaseba. So, literally, it means if you listen very, very carefully. So, the English title, Whisper of the Heart. Beautiful title. Well, Mimi o Sumaseba, this is, as you know, this is also Ghibli. The Ghibli one. And I love this film, this, this anime, because this was just the first Ghibli anime that I ever saw. So, that was very. So surprising for me. I didn't know, before that, I didn't know anything about Ghibli. So I didn't know if I liked it or not. But when I watched this, this, this movie, that was so, in, that impressed us so much. Well, this one is the 15th of July, 15th of July of 1995. This is the first day. This is the preview. And you, you, might not, you might not imagine it because my sister won a special prize. My, my sister won two tickets to a movie sneak preview. So, in, in that time, we, went to, we, we, used, we used to go to Japan every summer during two or three months. Long time. So, we were in Japan. And we went in this 15th of July, the first day in 1995. We went to this preview. <laughs> so it was so amazing. But when I went there, before, before going, I thought,、mm, I don't know if I liked anime or not. But my sister said, Well, this is the, this is the present for you and for your daughter. So we, I went with my daughter. To watch this movie, Mimi o Sumaseba. And that was so surprising. Well, this story, this girl is about 13 or 14 years old, just as the same age that, that was my, my daughter. My daughter was 13 years old in this, in, in this day. So,、uh, mm, what she thinks is a quite similar of my, my daughter. And this, this girl, her name was Shizuku. Shizuku loves reading books. And my, my daughter s too. My daughter loves books. So she reads books all the time. And, and in this story, this is the first love. So it's quite romantic too. And well, as I told you, she loves books. So she reads lots of books in the, from the、um, um, bibliotheque. Then she, she, she's always saying, Oh, there's the name of the boy and who is reading the same, same book, but before me. And the other book. Oh, again the same name. Who might be? Then, when she, she meets this boy, after that, she falls in love with him. And this boy knows what he wants to be exactly in the future. He wants to be a luthier. luthier. So, It means he, he wants to go to Italy and he wants to learn how to, how to,、um, how to make violins and like that. So he, he knows exactly what he wants. So she thinks, 
Oh, he, she admires him. Oh, how, how, how nice. Because I don't know anything about what I'm, I want to, I want to do, what I'd like to be. But anyway, she loves reading books and also she loves writing some stories. So here you see she's flying with a cat. This cat's name is Baron. Baron. So, but this is this is a story that she was inventing, and in this movie we can enter in her story, and it's really beautiful, and I loved that part so much in the screen of the movie. So, oh, how beautiful! Like that. So from from this movie, Mimi o Sumase, but this was just really the first movie of the first anime of Ghibli that we watched ever. But from that time on, my sister, my daughter, and I are really the great fan of Ghibli. So this is a very mm, nostalgic anime for us. So. These are my three nostalgic animes. And have you got one? Which one is it? I'd like to know about it. If you don't mind, would you please write your mm, not mm, exactly the favorite one, but nostalgic one that reminds you lots of sweet memories like that in commentary below this video. I might have other favorite animes, but these three animes are very, very special because、mm, that reminds me lots of so sweet memories. Did you like this video? If so, please give me a like. And if you share my videos with your friends, that helps me a lot. And if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel so that you can receive all of my videos. Okay, and、uh, so, so if you don't mind, please write your nostalgic animes below. Okay, 今日もここまで見てくださってどうもありがとうございます。ぜひチャンネル登録といいねボタン、そして皆さんのため、皆さんの、うん、好きなアニメ、または思い出に残るアニメなどがありましたら、ぜひコメント欄に書いてくださいね。<笑>じゃあまたねバイバイ。